Du fährst los. Keiner zuvor hat den, den See betreten. Ähm, du bist der Erste, der die Spuren in, in den frisch gefallenen Schnee zieht. Ähm, du bist eigentlich nur, nur du alleine da mit dem Kite. Vielleicht noch ein Vogel, der oben über dir kreist. Ähm, ja, und dann guckst du halt, wo dich der Wind hintreibt. Du fährst den Berg hoch, genießt die Aussicht. Wenn dann noch die Sonne mit dabei ist, ist eigentlich der Tag schon perfekt. Snowcoming is special um, because you, you just have, firstly, you have just the open space. Uh, I mean, there are some people who are lucky to have landboarding and, you know, on big, big open spaces. So out, out in Norway especially, you've got just endless hills just going on as far as you can see. And, you know, just being there with, with friends and riding it and just exploring as well. You're used to your spot, but when you, as soon as you get over the lip of a hill, it just opens up even more. And you just, right to the horizon, you can just see hills and snow. It's, it's incredible. Really is. Man hat halt viel weitere, größere Weiten als beim Landboarden oder als beim Kitesurfen. Beim Kitesurfen natürlich das große Meer, aber man fährt halt nicht so weit raus. Und beim Snowkiten hat man wirklich unendlich viele Flächen, vor allen Dingen hier in Norwegen. Es ist so unendlich viel Platz. Ich, ich, ich habe zu Hause Häuser, 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 Wald, Wald, Wald und wieder Häuser, Häuser, Häuser. Und hier ist einfach nur Fläche, 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 Fläche. Das Coole ist, mit dem Kiten kann ich halt alles alle anderen Sportarten so miteinander verbinden. Skateboarden, Snowboarden, ist halt alles so mit, mit drin. That's maybe the most fascinating thing about snow kiting is that each spot is different. That if, you, if I go kite surfing, if it's flat water in Brazil or it's flat water in Spain, it's the same. But if you go on snow, all the elements change a bit more. If you're in the mountains in Chile, the wind is different, the snow is different, and all the spots are different because the terrain changes. So that's probably the, the nicest thing about it. And then you appreciate the, the scenic, views and yeah now it's nice actually and you get out to see a lot more than you I would anyway like here you can if you want to get out in the terrain you only you can go cross-country skiing or 
with snowshoes or you can kite and you cover a lot more ground. So I've prob probably seen most of the plateau and that's just by having a kite. So I've probably seen more than the people that are double of my age just been skiing around. So that's great. Wir sind da innerhalb von wenigen Minuten sind wir da, wo, wo andere ewig bräuchten, um da hinzukommen. Und das, der Schnee ist unberührt. Und das ist, wenn der wirklich frisch gefallen ist und jungfräulich und du, du gehst durch diesen Schnee und du hörst wirklich nur dein eigenes Geräusch und sonst hörst du gar nichts. Das ist ganz leise. Ja? Und siehst dann auch die Landschaft und so. Das ist Genuss pur. I just get really excited when I ride. It's totally relaxing and you disconnect from everything else. So it's just nice to go out and ride and total freedom. Snowkiting give uh, wings to my snowboard.
Kiteboarding, a synergy of wind and water forces, takes harnessing the wind to the extreme. Kiteboarding is the ultimate fusion of power kiting and wakeboarding. This fascinating combination realizes man's eternal dream of flying. Once you experience the rush of kiteboarding, you will never be the same. It is the hottest new kite sport to sweep the world and it thrives on pure adrenaline. One of the most exhilarating rushes of kiteboarding is catching air. In good conditions, an advanced pilot can launch 20 to 30 feet above the water and soar for 7 seconds. With kiteboarding, you're hanging for football field lengths in the air. It is such a kick because you can spin, flip, or just fly. But you don't have to boost huge air to have a great time kiteboarding. Many people enjoy just ripping through the water and working on more technical tricks of the sport. Kiteboarding is versatile in that it is exploding on all bodies of water. Be the first in your area to experience this young sport. Visualize your huge multicolored kite blazing through the blue sky in majestic swoops with the wind belting between 13 and 25 miles an hour. Hook into your harness with your control bar, lean your shoulders back only a few feet above the water, and bury the rail of your kite board into the water, picking up a frenzy of wake that peels off the back of the board into a solid rooster tail of water. Don't live near the water? No problem. In the winter, you can carve through the snow. Kite snowboarding or snow kiting is easier to learn and costs less because you can use a much smaller kite. And forget about those long lift lines. Now you're ready to learn to kiteboard. Hi, I'm Chris Moore. I'm a professional kiteboarding instructor and I've designed this video to teach you how to kiteboard. I've been involved in kite sports all of my adult life. I started flying sport kites in 1990. I earned the title of two-time national champion and I got to travel the world flying kites. It's that passion and love for kiting that led me to kiteboarding at the conception of the sport in 1999 and I'm currently a master examiner for the Professional Air Sports Association and I'm dedicated to developing teaching techniques that will help others get into the sport. This video will teach you the fundamental skills needed using a power kite trainer kite on land, learning how to do a simulated water start, simulated riding exercise, and how to incorporate a harness into your exercises. We'll also carry that over into the water and then how to use 15 meter lines with a full size inflatable leading edge kite to body surf with the board and use the techniques showed in this video how to progress toward full length lines and actually becoming a self-sufficient kite order.